Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. In today's topic, we will understand how exactly a hacker gets their information. Well, to better understand this, for example, if somebody wants to hack into a company, they definitely had to get some of the information or in-depth knowledge or in-depth data regarding the company. But how is it done? This is when Google Docking works. Through Google Docking, we can get some of the insider views that are accidentally made public on the internet. Well, to better understand, let's dive in. For today's agenda, we'll understand what exactly is Google Docking and whether is it legal to practice Google Docking. And lastly, some of the search operators which can be used for docking. Google Docking is a way to utilize a Google search engine to search for different types of data and information that is generally not available for public view. This is done by using docking operators, which is also the reason why Google Docking is often termed as Google Hacking. Let's continue forward and know whether the docking is illegal or illegal. Using the working techniques to see data and information on Google is not an legal practice if it is done for the research or practical knowledge. But if the obtained data through docking is used for malicious purpose, then it becomes an illegal act punishable by law. Now that we understand some general information about Google docking, let's take a look at the operators. The first operator is a site operator. This operator searches for a specific site that we refer to. Then we have in URL. It is used for a specific keyword in the URL of the site. Then we have in title which is used to search for a defined heading in the web page. And similarly, to entitle, the in-text operator is used to search for a specific keyword in the body section of the web page. And in the end, we have file type, as the name suggests. Using file type operator, we can search for a particular type of file, for example, a PDF file or a log file on the internet. Well, this is all about the theoretical knowledge, but it's better to have an understanding through demo. So let's begin. Well, to start with, let's access a Google Chrome. To begin with, let's firstly type the site operator, which defines the type of site that we want to access. For example, simplylearn.com. Through this operator, as we can see, we get all the sites that are related to Simply Learn. This is the way we can use site operator. We can also search for some other site, for example, amazon.com. Through this, we get only the sites that are related to Amazon. Now, let's try the second one, which is in URL operator. In URL operators allow us to search for a specific keyword that we see often on the URLs. Let's search for admin URL. Now, as we can see, we have different types of sites, but each of them has admin in them. This is the work that can be done by using the operator in URL. Let's not try the in title operator. In title operator, as the name suggests, can be used to search for a specific keyword in the title of the web page. For example, French press. Now, as we can see, the French press, and that is available in the in title, that is the title of the web page, and we get only the search where French press is included. Now, let's do something interesting. Using the in title, let's search for webcams. Well, this is something really interesting, I guess. Webcam XP5. Let's see. Okay, so we get some of the searches that are related to webcams. Let's try accessing one of them.
okay now we can see like some of the public webcams that are available on the internet that can access real view well guys can you see the cars moving that means this is real time view webcam let's try changing the source as we can see this is a live view from some of the public webcams that are either not protected or are available on the internet the point to be noted is if we want to research all this that's fine but we shouldn't use all the search operations from google docking for any illegal purpose well let's continue with our operators and start with in text as the name suggests in text can be used to search for a specific keyword in a large amount of data available on a web page let's search for keyword process well as we can see the web page that are related to our process and they are randomly generated it's not in a procedure so i guess we can get process so this is how you we can utilize the in text operator and the last operator we have is file type operator file type operator as the name suggests can be used to search for a specific type of file on the web let's try searching for pdf files but before that we have to mention some place where the pdf would be from for example amazon let's see the result by the result we can see that the type of file we got is pdf file and the related is amazon let's try accessing some of them okay seems like some financial result and co transaction file and that's to in pdf that we mentioned in the file type and this is how you can access any of the file type we mentioned like external files env files password files or different types of log files now uh, from this we understand the operators in itself cannot exactly search for a specific data that can be used for hacking but what if we combine different operators and search for a new one well this is definitely interesting idea and let's try accessing this let's try um uh, with site as uh, amazon and for in title we should type admin let's see what will the result be seems like we have some of the sites which are related to administration and amazon.com and once again guys this is all just for research purpose let's try mixing some other operators also uh, what about if we use um site uh, or should i say in text let's try in text in text as username and file type as log file let's see the result let's try visiting some of the links we got from the result this looks like to be some of a log file of a website username and the log file type seems like this log file have some username and password related to some of the websites this is how hackers research data before they try to access somebody else's information different types of log data well now that we understand that combining different types of operators can give us different results uh let's try one more to better understand this 
let's use site as Starbucks a famous brand starbucks.com and uh, what about using in text as passwords let's try well it seems like we have the result according to this i think we accessed into how passwords can be used in for starbucks guide to starbucks and everything is related to that well guys this is how we can use google documents like the operators are different and combining different operators we can get different search results uh, but instead if we want to search for a specific data and uh, are confused about the operator mixing we can also search for google hacking database it our database that we can use to access different types of uh, operators using in title in url in url and site you can use this for reference with this we can conclude our demo on google docking if you have any questions regarding the topic you can ask them in the comment section and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us thank you hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here